That's one thing to put out there. I will definitely be doing another one. And it was actually fun to you know, sand and coat the wood. I, I didn't know how hard it would be, but it's very easy. Well, let's get back to the plants and you can kind of see you got that wood, nice wood grain, um, silver fox aloe. And I think her show, but she was talking about uh, plantarin, plantarina. I think it's plantarina. But she was talking about how they get the clay pots to get that coloring of like the, the, the minerals. I guess they react to the clay and they stick to the outside, which is pretty cool. Uh, but back to the plants. You can see the ficus. Uh, this is a, I believe, ginseng ficus. Correct me if I'm wrong. And I have it in the decoration. I like to keep like the Vietnam thing because this was made in Vietnam close to what probably where it was where most of the fiddle leaf, I mean the uh, tropical plants are made. Back there we got the angel wing begonia doing great, looking stunning. We got more leaves popping out. I actually got to stalk this because it's actually falling over because it's loving where she's at or he. Over there we got the uh, euphorbia milk tree. If I am not incorrect, that's the milk tree, euphorbia, I forgot what it is, African milk tree. I got my cuttings of the Swiss cheese at onsai. One over here. Well, let me show you that glass, because that glass, I didn't really give it justice. But you can see the, this, the glass that I got from uh, Marshall's, the propagation station. And this guy's trying to take over, but we're gonna pan back over to the other Calthea, which is doing great. And I think this is a Freddy, but we're getting some brownie tips, but not a lot. And it's getting taller and taller. Uh, Jade finger plant, burrow's tail, and another propagated Monter Monstera fiddle leaf. Over there, I put my uh, Rex begonia because I was getting some burnt, crispy leaves. But she is throwing out more shoots. But the Rex begonia is doing pretty well. I just moved it back where I had the Swiss cheese at. And I put the mother plant from the Swiss cheese back over there. You can actually see there's something else growing from the Swiss cheese. You can see this, like a bud or something growing out of there. Voracious grower. Got another African milk tree there, different color. I believe I separated that. Looking for that to get big. And we're gonna move up to, oh, and these spaces between our two feet apart. So there's two foot apart beams or holder, I don't know what you call it, but pipes that are used flanged gas pipe flanging fairly easy project guys but it is pretty expensive and hard to find the wood I found most of the wood on the uh, Facebook marketplace from a seller close by me oh and I forgot about this guy cactus I divided it and put it actually I think there were three different ones and I just put it in together in this type of arrangement <clears throat> Oh, and let's jump up to the third shelf. Oh, look at that wood, guys. Look at that. That's beautiful. Sorry if I'm a little shaky. But let's start over here. I got my string of bananas. And it's almost going down to the second shelf. And up top, I got my pencil cactus hybrid. And then I got these guys. I'm going to do a uh, giveaway because I have a few of these guys that I will be selling on Facebook Marketplace for five dollars plus shipping. Um, but I'm going to do a giveaway for probably if I get a certain amount of subscribers. I haven't decided yet, but uh, they're a uh, Talanzia air plant holder. Got another cutting from the Monstera at the onside. 
and there's also another color of the yoga plant. There's a gray, and then there's a black. Like I said, I want to be giving or selling. I'm going to sell with someone, give some away. And up top, I have my uh, prayer plant in the middle with another string of bananas on the side. Oh, let me not forget about this, which I got from, oh, and turmeric, guys, turmeric is a natural anti-inflammatory. I do mix in my tea, guys get it. It'll help you out with any diseases or anything like that. But what I have in here is alocasia that I got from Facebook and I put it in water because I was looking at that shoot there and it had three. One, I think I did a video on this, um, but it just wasn't looking too great. So I just put it in water. And I'm gonna see what happens. If you have any suggestions, let me know. And also have that yellow angle with the front leaf. But uh, I just saw it curl over, and I'm like, what's going on with this? I'm not too familiar with this plant. Fact, let's put it over here. You can kind of see what's going on. But I'm not too familiar with what's going on with this plant. I've seen the leaves curl over. When I had it in dirt, so I was like, man, is it gonna make it? Is it gonna make it? It is a small plant. So after I saw that, I said, let me take it out and put it in some water. Because it might have been stressed out from the move. But that's my Alocasia Sabrina, I believe. I forgot. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, I'm glad I got the shelf done. I'm super glad I got the shelf done these large pieces of wood off a tree were in my house and I was just trying to move them around and move them around. So I'm going to show you a little bit of me sanding and staining the wood. And don't forget to check out my Instagram. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to keep growing. Have a good day.